Morning guys, I said it was gonna be a nice day, didn't I? So this morning I was up pretty early and I couldn't resist coming out here and you remember yesterday I said I was gonna um, put the solar charge controller on instead of the grid tires, so swap them over um, just so that we can see how much we get in on a good day and with these panels in the new position um, on, the, on the back of the house. Um, yeah, so I got up and I, I kind of rewired it quickly. It's only like a couple of couple of extension leads, so no big deal. Um, and I've put it on. And what can I say? A massive difference. You saw the thing at the beginning of the video showing, yeah, it was like 15 amps at, I don't know, like 10, 10 o'clock or something like that, which has never happened before. So it's a really good um, position for the panels. Anyway, what I noticed was, I think it's something to do with my settings in the, um, in the charge controller, but basically I got to 80% charge my battery. Um, like in two hours or something it was charging so quick so i need to adjust the settings i think because it was it was going to like um float charge too quick something else interesting we reached about 250 watts um and it was it was like 10 o'clock so what i was thinking because because the maximum it's going to go is 280 um or thereabouts because we've only got a 20 amp charge controller you kind of find that you know really you're going to be wasting power after it goes above 280 because you no, know, the power can't go anywhere so what i've done now is i've actually put the grid tire converter back on mainly just to see you know how much power we can actually get in um and i've left the lid open as well because you guys were getting worried this was going to get warm ah I forgot my key all right here we go all right so 270 going in on a good day this is going to rip this system just even with those two panels I need to get more panels. I've been looking at those Panasonic HIT 330s. I don't know if anyone's seen them. They just look amazing. They're sort of black as well. They've got like an anodized black edge, but they're 330 watt per panel. Obviously, as time goes on, these panels are just going to get more and more efficient. So you're going to need less and less, or actually just, you can just keep adding more and more and end up with even more power. What I might do is actually just work out like a, a dream setup um, and then just like work out, you know, what, what it would cost and everything else um, to do. Because I've got a lot of the stuff and a lot of the stuff that I've been getting, I can actually reuse as well, um, you know, on if when I actually come to sort of do the system for the house, but yeah, it's working well. This thing's working a treat as well now. Um, so yeah, 600 watts at the moment. Normally this is about 900. If you've watched the other videos, you'll see most of the time this sits about 900 because we've got underfloor heating. Um, all this stuff over here is like the sewage plant the treatment thing hot tub obviously comes in intermittently and you know does like three kilowatts so something needs to happen with that i've turned it down a bit i've turned the temperature down a bit to try and like reduce the power of it but ultimately i feel like it needs like four panels of its of its own just to just to offset i was thinking about putting a grid tire connecting a grid tire and, and a couple of panels to it um you know on this on this decking because this decking's basically in the sun all day but really it might be better just you know doing the roof system because it would be better up there that's gone down very low, just need to check. What's it saying? It's still climbing guys, it's still climbing. I wonder how high it's actually gonna go. The sun's pretty much directly above now. It's warm, lukewarm. seems as the weather's so good and we're gonna pop out tomorrow um, I'm gonna to get the car washed so I'm gonna go and see my good mates Dan I don't even know if I did that video I don't know I'm pretty sure I filmed um, the Twizzy getting car washed which was quite funny when they were like spraying the windows um, with the uh, the jet wash and stuff but I don't think that I've actually I don't think I did anything with that video anyway I'm gonna go and see my mates at Buff Monkeys who do the valeting oh, look nice panels Looks like it could be busy. I would clean the car myself, but they just do a better job. And plus I've got a video to edit and they normally take 45 minutes. I'll probably just edit it in the uh, waiting room. Back home and it's all looking sharp. Because it's nice, I think I'm gonna go in the Twizzy now. So my camera battery went flat, so 
I was going for a little bit of a rip and uh, I've got carried away and I'm down to down to 15% but that's okay though because I'm, I'm literally right near my home but I just wanted to test out this charging point which is literally just at the airport around the corner for me right back at home now I just unbox this new Dyson this is the third Dyson fan that I've had two have blown up the first one was the original one that I had from like last year um, and then using it in the shed all of a sudden it just stopped working that was it nothing no fuse was blown nothing was nothing was kind of visibly wrong and then it just stopped working so found out Dyson they sent a new one and then that went wrong as well I haven't been using it on the inverter I mean, obviously oh, it's a very powerful thing but um, I don't know what is going on with that so they've sent another one I'm just going to try and stick it in a different socket this time right so before I go to the shed um, let's have a look at this so this day 2520 20 to 25 um, kilowatt hours which is still quite a lot but yesterday was 37 yesterday there was definitely a lot more things on like tumble dryers and all stuff like that but we definitely put a bit of power in um, from the solar panel so let's just go and find out exactly how much this should be interesting Right guys, you ready? So, 3.69 kilowatt hours. So, I need to work this out. So it was basically on two kilowatt hours when I started today, because I didn't bother resetting the meter. So let's just call that two kilowatts. So basically we put in 1.7, call that 1.7 kilowatt hours or, or 1700 um, watt hours. And then we had 540, which was in from the solar charge controller. So 540. So what's that? 2,240, isn't it? Is that right? 2,240. So 2.2 .2 kilowatt hours. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty impressive for like just two panels. Um, yeah, I'm well happy with that. Our maximum was... 413 so that hasn't changed since the other day that's still 413.4 um, watts in total so there we go guys the end of another day and um, quite an interesting one so two kilowatts couple of kilowatts in if that means if that's right i mean when it should be um then that's basically that's covering my twizzy charging i mean through the summer if, if the days are like this then basically my twizzy is going to get charged for free that's one way of looking at it um, you know you're obviously feeding that power back into the house and not charging the twizzy directly off of it but in effect I'm charging the car for nothing it's just surprising really how it all adds up isn't it I mean you know as I say it's just, just two panels and they just sit there all day chucking juice in to the system so guys I hope you've enjoyed all these shenanigans messing around with the solar stuff and the, um, the solar rack I feel like it's been quite a, quite a journey um, but I've definitely learned a lot here and it's so much better doing it this, messing around with this, than kind of just going bang, you know, and just getting a getting a professional solar installation put on the house and then never really know, you know, what's what's actually happened there. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of research here. I'm armed with a lot of information that going forward is going to really, really help me with all this sort of stuff and hopefully helping other people get, you know, their systems sorted out as well. Anyway, that's about it from me, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos if you want to see more all that sort of stuff um, also you can follow me on twitter at andrew john kirby i do sporadic tweets of that might be of interest i don't know but just follow me up on there also on instagram as well andy j kirby hit me up on there um yeah that's about it catch you in the next one guys <laughs>